From overnight, firefighters take extra efforts to stay cool as they battle heat and flames in Dayton. Three families also are now enjoying the air conditioning thanks to the Dayton chapter of the American Red Cross. Jordan Burgess is live at the scene on the overnight blaze. It's this morning's top story. Right now in the daylight, you can better see what the heat did to these homes here on Fillmore Street, leaving them black and burned. It also took its toll on firefighters. It is very warm and sticky out here, and now the sun is finally starting to come up. That's only going to make things worse, so that's something to watch out for today with those heat warnings and advisories. And this is how firefighters dealt with the heat in just the last few hours, spraying down this home on Fillmore Street that caught fire and then rotating out and taking a few minutes to tap off and get some fluids. The fire is being called suspicious. The home where it started is empty. We're told a family had just moved out of there, but the two houses next door are lived in. The people inside made it out in time, but firefighters had to go into one of the homes to try to keep the flames away. It still suffered some damage to the attic, and the Red Cross is helping three families with a place to stay this morning. But thankfully, everybody was okay. No cases of heat exhaustion that we know of among the firefighters. And afterward, crews told us how they were able to keep firefighters cool in these hot conditions. After they've been in for a while, we get them to come out and uh, hydrate and uh, check their vital signs and make sure they're doing okay. And that's some advice you can follow today as those temperatures start to rise as that sun comes up. Make sure to take breaks if you are working outside. Drink plenty of fluids. And the best thing of all, well, stay in the air conditioning. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.